Hey guys, Mars Ingen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so today we are going to be taking a look at the Golden Metal Cooler. Uh, another unit like very much like the Tech Black Janemba uh, has a lot of potential for the future. Because obviously him and the Janemba are the two units that don't awaken as of yet. Uh, they should awaken next year uh, now that they seem to have reduce the time frame for units awakening from two years to one because we've got the rebel and supreme kyo time awakening hopefully they stick to that process because honestly i still think waiting a year to awaken the units is too long but waiting two years was definitely too long so i feel like this guy has a lot of potential um, but he's very similar to janemba in the sense that he has a lot of links and stuff like parts of his design they've given him links that would make sense for a metal cooler unit to have but then they've restricted him to a crossover team that doesn't have any other like metal coolers. So it's certainly interesting. Um, his super attack, he raises attack and defense in one turn, does supreme damage. And then his passive, he gets attack 150, uh, attack and defense 150, launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack when performing a super attack. So that means he doesn't get that beforehand. And it means if you can't super for whatever reason on that turn because of bad key or anything like that, it means he doesn't get the additional attack that has the high chance to super as well. He reduces damage received by 20%. Then he gets an additional 30% attack up to 150 and damage reduction of 6% up to 30% per crossover ally on the team. And then he seals his own super attack if your HP is 30% or less at the start of the turn. So it seems like a meme, but it is a reference to his actual card from the Heroes game. Um, so I, get, I don't know why they left that in. As we saw with Great Saiyan Man 3, they probably will keep that debuff like on him even when he awakens. But like the you can see that the potential is there for something really good when he gets his awakening because he obviously he gets all of his stats on super pretty much but on a crossover team he has 50 percent damage reduction which is pretty good and then he's raising defense for one turn on super whilst already having a built-in chance to additional in his passive which means that obviously on his best turn he can super attack three times which means he's raising his defense three times whilst having 50 percent damage reduction so i want to get him on a slightly better rotation we only have shocking speed and cold judgment active on this turn we've got quite a bit of support from hearts and uh, poutine so he's at 110k defense so that puts him at what he gets 150 percent on super so 250 uh plus of course he gets the 30 percent raise from his super attack so i mean if he gets multiple supers he's going to be well over 300k defense uh, with 50% damage reduction. I think that's the most important part. Now, I've talked about it quite a few times in these videos now where we've been using the Extreme Heroes team build. Um, the team is severely lacking in slot 1 units after Hearts loses his guard. So, I would have really liked this Golden Metal Cooler to be a slot 1 unit option, right? Because you see that when it, in his passive when you're on a full crossover team. 3.8 is actually not bad. When you see, like, full crossover team, he's rocking 50% damage reduction. That kind of makes you think, oh, okay, so he's a good tank. But then, yeah, he gets most of his stats on super. Wow, look at this. We get the triple super turn. So his defense is going to be very, very high. Unfortunately, no crits, which means we uh, don't do a lot of damage through type disadvantage. But then we take double digit damage on the uh, following attacks. So, I mean, again, considering he's just an SSR that doesn't have a TUR awakening, uh, multiple super attacks of like 4 million is pretty good, all things considered. And um, I'm going to float off Golden Cooler so we can get the two of them together. They do share a couple of different links. And, of course, Cooler being a 40% support unit. Um, like, if Golden Cooler, uh, Golden Metal Cooler was actually good in slot 1. Like, if that 150 attack and defense was just at the start of the turn. Um, the rotation of him and Golden Cooler would be kind of interesting. The only problem is, and this is a issue with Golden Cooler's links as much as it is with Golden Metal Cooler. But you think... Um, they would share, you know, a few links. They share two. Um, the two links they share are Strongest Clan in Space, which is two key, and then enemies to minus 10% defense. But they do share Cold Judgment, which is a 25% defense link. So that is actually very good. So we've got Cold Judgment active again. Do you have Cold Judgment? Yeah, you do. So it's the same two links with you. We don't share any links with arms because, uh... Arms does have big bad bosses. Arms is actually a really good support unit, but um, 
he gives uh, defense to extreme allies, and then he gives artificial life forms uh, allies extra attack. So Metal Cooler, of course, is an artificial life form. So this is the kind of rotation that would be kind of fun to use, like especially once Ar uh, Hearts' guard has run out. But as you can see, at the start of the turn, despite having 50% damage reduction, we have 110k defense, which doesn't really feel like it's enough to... Uh, to cut it here really does it like let's go ahead let's do this and see how much damage we actually take here in slot one it's only one attack so as long as that one attack isn't the super we'll be okay but that's the problem as if that one attack is the super see double digits obviously this isn't the hardest event and then of course the key blast supers kicking in um but yeah that's pretty good for slot one for him at this point in the event now as we get a bit further in, like obviously if we're doing like Red Zone Broly, now stage one, he's got type advantage. So slot one, he might not take too much damage from the normal attacks, but if he does, if he gets supered in slot one, then he is going to be taking a pretty reasonable amount of damage. And then of course, the second phase of Red Zone Broly is tech. And then you really want to be getting those super attacks off first. Now, as long as he doesn't get super attacked by uh, tech Broly, I feel like he wouldn't be too bad. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, even if he's, like, got his super attacks off first, he gets super attacked by Tech Broly, he's probably still taking, like, 100, 200k, 250, something like that, but, I mean, for an, you know, type disadvantage unit, you could argue that that's not necessarily the worst thing in the world, but, he definitely has some, uh, interesting potential, as I say. Now, the biggest issue with him, especially when it comes to the more difficult content, is this whole thing about him sealing himself if you're at 30% or below HP. Now, obviously we have bosses in the game that can seal, and we see firsthand sometimes how incredibly irritating that can be. And when it comes to Metal Cooler, he is one of the... Well, 9 million from Sealers, okay. He's one of the units that really suffers from being sealed, because, as we've already gone over, he gets all of his defense, or most of his defense, on super attack, as well as getting that extra chance to do another super attack. He doesn't get either of those things if he doesn't super, which means that he uh, is left in a pretty bad spot. So I feel like since we're against an AGL enemy, this is one of the few turns where we could probably get away with putting Golden Cooler in slot one. Um, see, if we look at the difference between the two, Golden Metal Cooler obviously has like half the defense, but he has 50% damage reduction at the start of the turn compared to uh, Golden Cooler. But Golden Cooler does have type advantage, so overall probably is much better to have him in slot one here. Um, so I'm going to keep this as a rotation for a little bit and see how well we actually do get on here. I think it would have been good for Metal Cooler if he built up some of that defense rather than just getting it all on super attack. Um, would have been interesting to see how much Golden Metal Cooler would take from this, but... Um, yeah, if he built it up over time, then I feel like he would work really, really well on this team as the complement to Hearts, right? Because imagine if his build-up was such that you could get it by the time, like, Hearts' uh, guard had run out, like, fairly consistently. Because then you could get it built up using him in slot 2, where he's post-super and has much better defense. And then once he's fully built up and Hearts' guard has run out, then you can switch him into slot 1. Like, I think that would be really good. So, obviously, with characters, when they get their awakening, he's probably still going to keep that significant amount of attack and defense on super attack. But hopefully, once he gets his awakening, um, he just gets, a, you know, a decent amount of start of turn attack and defense. Um, and then, obviously, it would be cool. We, we've seen that recently with the awakenings and easy ace, though, where they haven't completely removed these restrictions for keeping units on, like, one team specifically. So I do think it would be uh, it would be nice if he um, had some extra thing like it would be crossover or Wicked Bloodline. Because imagine using him on like the full Metal Coolers team, which I might actually do. Um, I mean, let me go ahead and do this. I just want to get to the next turn. If she supers hearts in slot one, it's going to be super annoying. Or even if she supers arms. Not just necessarily with the fact that we might die, but the fact that if we start the next turn at 30% or less HP, then uh, our boy Metal Cooler is going to be sealed. But 
I think overall, as like a slot 2 or 3 unit, I quite like his performance. I think he could be a decent floating unit for the Extreme Heroes team at the moment. It's just the fact that, as I've said already and said in previous videos, the Heroes unit, uh, the Extreme version of the Heroes team is like desperately crying out for slot 1 tanks who are not like hearts. Because once his guard runs out, then you're on your own essentially. Now, next year, uh, we should get the EZA for Dark Mask King. Um, I mean, he's still, like, he's somewhat runnable now, but, like, hard bosses will still absolutely crush him. And then the way that he kind of counterbalanced his uh, defense previously was the fact that he um, healed you uh, with the damage that he does. But, of course, now, without the EZA and being a much older unit, he's not really doing that much damage. So, obviously, you're not getting, like, a crazy amount of healing. So... We'll go ahead and put our boy in slot one here. We got a lot of support on the rotation. It's so our 100k defense. Um, now, we don't get any... Yeah, see, the other thing as well is he's getting a load of extra attack from the crossover ally. So that's the other thing that you're going to definitely notice if you run him on a different team. That his, like, attack stats are going to be incredibly low. I mean, already... I mean, 3.7, I guess, for an unawakened unit that has the chance to do multiple supers... Because this is the one from the hidden potential. So this one's basically free. Uh, sorry, the passive. And then boom, there's the hidden potential. So with those three put together, that's over 10 million. And he takes out uh, Oceanus. And with those three defense raises, like he's going to be tanking incredibly well after that. Especially considering the, um, the damage reduction on top. So like he's definitely in a decent spot now. I just feel like his biggest problem is you go up against any of the, like, really, really hard bosses, and then he is uh, going to be in trouble. So, um, actually, yeah, what are we doing here? Let's, yeah, we're going to get the Dokon attack this turn, aren't we? So let's do this. Get the Dokon attack with the uh, transformed hearts with all of his links active. Sealus getting relegated to slot three is unfortunate, but I actually quite like this rotation uh, the only problem like i've said already uh, is that hearts is not a slot one unit when his guard runs out even if you leave him untransformed he can't really hold down slot one in the way we would want units to in super difficult content but this rotation definitely is fun as hell because sealus is not giving any support and hearts is at 8.3 million attack obviously the untransformed hearts give support but what i mean by that is if we have like golden cooler in slot three this hearts is going to be doing like 10 mil. Like, this is my hearts, obviously, rainbow full level 10 links. He gets a guaranteed additional super, which is always going to be slightly higher than his original one. So, uh, yeah, looking looking pretty good over here, our boy hearts. And then once his guard has run out, he's still relatively good post super. But obviously, we got sealed on this turn. Like That could have been a double super. Um, we take the normals for double digits still though, which is good. Big Bad Bosses units, obviously, when Big Bad Bosses are is active, uh, always look pretty good compared to uh, some of the previous videos or runs where we haven't had Big Bad Bosses active. But Sealus just going off. I'm, uh, I was always a big fan of this unit's design. It's like crazy, well, I guess, I was going to say sci-fi, but Predator's sci-fi anyway. I was going to say crazy sci-fi Predator, but I mean, that's kind of redundant. But I just think he looks really cool. Um... Alright, so 100k. Are we missing out on... Yeah, we don't get anything extra from you. Now, obviously, remember, a lot of the heroes units, like Golden Cooler here, have Shattering the Limit, which this guy would obviously get when he awakens as well. Which, one extra link, only gives two key and 5% attack and defense, but it's a little bit of an extra boost uh, for the future. Yeah, see, 40k slot one. If we eat a super, that's when we're going to be taking the big damage, and that's why... Metal Golden Metal Cooler is just not, like, ideal for slot one. But, I mean, overall, I would say that the potential is definitely there, just like I said for Tech Janemba. Uh, the only downside, as we've already talked about, is his links with the fact that he um, has these weird links that make him kind of designed to be on a uh, crossover team only. And then he has all of the, like, Metal Cooler links. So I might do a video using him on the Wicked Bloodline team. We can run Cooliza and Golden, Co uh, Golden Cooler, so we do at least have three crossover units on the team. And he needs, he only needs four other crossover allies in order for his buff to be full. So if we have two other crossover allies, he's kind of like halfway there. So I might do that as a video to check that out. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. But yeah, Hearts just uh, going off here. 
But yeah, Golden Metal Cooler definitely has potential. It's a shame that they wait to awaken the units, but next year, hopefully, he should awaken into something pretty special. Oh, look at this. We dodged the super as well. Uh, one thing as well I think we definitely can say is that the art for uh, Golden Metal Cooler absolutely goes hard. I think it's super, super good. It's an interesting contrast because Black Janemba has like a really basic art where it's him just kind of stood like walking forwards in a very sort of basic like stood up straight pose and then we have uh, Golden Metal Cooler who's already doing like a pretty cool dynamic pose in his art um, so then when he awakens what is his art going to look like because personally I think this art is fire like looks super good um, but anyway let's see what we do here against a uh, I was going to make the last turn the previous turn but since we're against an STR enemy let's actually put our boy in slot one now this is more like it right when we don't have those extra links and extra support uh, he's at 82k when I say more like it obviously not like what we want to see but what you could fairly regularly see him at on this team and see here even with type advantage taking 27k and then once he's supered, obviously he's just going to be taking double-digit damage. I would actually really like uh, Nova to super him here. Especially if we get the triple super. That would be... Because uh, Nova hits a lot harder than some of the previous ones. Um, is he going to? He's not going to. Alright, well, Golden Metal Cooler. Pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think down below. Definitely has good potential for next year. Looking forward to seeing what they actually do with his awakening. So, that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.